Good morning. We are out here on a a new property. As a lot of y'all know, we're partnered up on some military stuff and this is what we've added to our schedule. It goes way out there into that field. Way back around there, pretty good sized property. Uh, it's been taken care of in house. And as some of y'all might know, our military stays pretty busy. So they did the best they could and have now called us in. So what we're gonna be doing today is, now we won't be taking care of beds, but we are gonna cut back a lot of these hedges and then we've got a trim, edge, just go through the whole place and get it cleaned up. Now, it will be a work in progress. It's going to take us a few trips to get it right. But we will get it right. So, we got a lot of work to do today. I ain't going to talk too much. We're just going to get started. I actually broke the camera stand just a few minutes ago. So, uh... We'll record what we can, how we can, and we're going to get this stuff done. So, let's do it.
All right, so some of these, unfortunately, had to be cut back a little further than what I like. Uh, we cut them about as far, if you see right here, I don't know how well you could see it. There's only about four or five inches of thick greenery on this one. Some of them, it's less than that. But we did have to cut some of these back kind of far. Not all of them, you see those are still green. Reason being, these gates. The gates open, you see the little post right there. So, when they were opening the gates, they were having to push the gate into the bushes. So, I got a little heavy on some of them. These things are weeded up. Bad, really bad. Uh, on the other end, way down there at the end on the inside of the gate the weeds and vines and all that were so bad that it completely killed the shrub dead it was just sticks so i had to cut those out uh it was just a pile of weeds anyway but some of these get around even though i had to cut them back kind of hard I was able to put some shape to them. Now, they've got some low spots. Uh, like I said, the weeds are bad. So it's actually killed areas inside of them. I'm hoping to be in here, hopefully later this year, beginning of next year, and working on beds on this property. Whenever we do that, we will slightly lift these hedges enough to dig all these weeds and everything out and clean everything out under them. Uh, they'll thrive. They will really thrive once that happens. But we got the gate done. We got the front fence done. Now we got to go. That's probably about half of it, maybe more. We got some on the front of the building and around each side we got to trim. Then we'll get all this cleaned up. Then we have a ton of trimming and edging to do. Uh, it's going to be an all-day thing here. So we'll just keep recording as we can. But as of now, Haley done showed up with some cold water. So it's break time. So we'll be back in a minute. We got some pipes on that thing. Anyway, so done trimming hedges. Some of them had to be hard trimmed. Some we just kind of nipped the tip a little bit. But uh, the front is the main thing. I don't know where you can see it, but they are in the front of the building also. Got the beautiful Miss Haley out there cleaning up. But uh, I just wanted to throw this out there. The Echo 2620 hedge trimmers, the long reach, articulating head. It's only the second time I've ever used a set. And this is the first time I've used their X-Series HCA 2620. Uh, I've always used the smaller Echoes. Or, here lately when I needed a longer reach, the guy I'm partnered up on this military stuff with, my buddy Josh, He'd be kind enough to let us borrow his long reach, which is the still long reach. So he actually called me a little while ago and asked me, he knows, he knows I got those new hedge trimmers. He's like, all right, what you think? So throw a little review out there for you. The steel hedge trimmers, when it comes to real thick stuff, I mean, size of your thumb, you know, the stuff that ain't really recommended for hedge trimmers. The steel seems to cut through it a little better. Uh, it's not a power thing. I don't know if it's something to do with the angle of the blades or the gearing. Not sure. Can't say. I'd have to put them side by side, possibly even take them apart. And look, I, I don't know. But the real thick, heavy stuff 
the steel does seem to cut slightly better. Now, you're using a hedge trimmer for what a hedge trimmer is supposed to be used for. And that fine, fine cut, trimming that thin stuff, leaving a nice smooth finish. I mean, these things look bad when we got here. And this was, I'm, I passed through them pretty quick. Uh, the weight, the balance, the finish. I do like the Echo better. For stuff like this, that was just nasty, out of control. You're cutting some shit as big as your thumb. I believe the steel would have been better. So, personal preference, whatever you want. These Echoes were a lot better balanced, were a lot lighter in the hands. Not sure the actual weight, but if I'd have done all that with them long reach steel, I'd be over here with an arm pump, like I've been to the gym. Not with the Echoes. So, personal preference, I do prefer the Echo. They do leave a finer finish. They're just not gonna cut the thick, heavy limbs as well as that steel. So, quick little review. Uh, we are done trimming. Now we got a bunch of picking up to do. Then I'm probably gonna, uh, we forgot all our food. We haven't recovered from being sick a few days ago. So probably gonna send Miss Haley to the store. Get us something to eat after we clean this up. And then it's all weed eaters and edgers from there. So, like I said, all day thing, but we gonna get this done. So, I'll be back with y'all here in just a few minutes. Whew, time is flying today. So, Haley's heading up here, pick up the last few piles. We got a load on the front of the trailer. That's all just clippings and weeds and vines and all that. But, we've got that knocked out. That was a big part, part that we was dreading, but it's done. So I'm gonna show y'all something right quick. Uh, this is inside the fence. Let me just flip this for you. So we got all these islands. There's just six of them. But, just like the front of the building, we've got this area out here. It's a little overgrown. Got some pretty cool angles. A little more work, can't just throw a mower on it. Is it? It is a little steep. But just like the front of the building, a lot of your traffic comes here. So just like the front, this will be a centerpiece, and we want that top notch. So Haley's about to get on that and get it all edged out. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and run around the outside the property. It's fences all the way around, all the way back there to that tree line. About as far as you can see over the building down the tree line and then back up the other side. I got a damn spider. Damn spider crawling up my arm. So, I'm going to get the outside trimmed up, a few ditches I got to trim, some culverts, several just fire extinguishers, posts, all that. Get all that stuff knocked out um, because the thing is they locked the gates on us, 5 o'clock. Well, it's 2 o'clock now. So, I want to get the trimming part knocked out and then come inside and do all the trimming. That way we could just mow everything. And when we pull out of that gate this evening, if I got to park on the road to mow the outside, 
then it is what it is. So, we're going to split up. Don't know how much video we're going to get on this, but I'll try to get y'all some. So, let's get it done. Whew. All right. So, hold on. Let me see. So, seven and a half hours later. All the edging's done. All the trimming's done. About three and a half hours of that was hedge trimming and cleaning all that shit up. Another four, four and a half hours of that. Haley has had a edger in her hand. And I've had a weed eater in my hand nonstop. But we got it all taken care of. And that stuff I showed you earlier, Haley's doing the finishing touches right now. Boy, ain't that an improvement. Now, the grass itself still got a long ways to go. But, first cut. Looking a whole lot better. This stuff was getting mowed to the ground. It was pretty chopped up. Uh, but it will come back in really well. So, oh yeah, she got all these cleaned up too. She got all the islands done. They're edged up, push mowed, trimmed. Now, we've only got a few more hours before dark. She's gonna be there a few minutes. I gotta get some water in me. Here's the thing, I'll go ahead and admit it. Admit it, I screwed up. Now, I didn't necessarily screw up when it came to the bid because I do allow for things. Uh, this property did have a first cut price and everything's figured in. I'll just leave it at that. So as far as the price, no, that's not where I screwed up. But I was not planning on having that weed eater in my hand for four and a half hours straight. I mean, you can see. I am filthy. And yeah, I walked the property. Walked all of it. I will admit, I got a little bit cocky. And it almost bit me. It very well could have. Uh, if I wouldn't have pushed as hard as I did to get this stuff done, I'd be out here another hour, two hours trimming. I mean, I had to grind to get that done in four, four and a half hours. So we basically gonna work till dark. Now the customer understands that we were doing certain things today to get the appearance right. And then from there, the next couple cuts, it'll be done correctly. So we got time, but we are gonna get it done. We're gonna get a lot of this mowed up, get it taken care of. So let me get some water in me and get back to work.
it's been a day. So we're just not going to finish. Uh, like I said, it's accounted for. It's all good. But got held up with the trimming on a lot of stuff. Uh, now, that Echo 2620T put in work. But I was not planning on running a gallon over a gallon of gas to that thing today. <laughs> Can't tell you how many times I reloaded that speed feed head. But we got it done. So we still got that section in the back. And on the other side of the building over there, there's a field to the heliport. Helipad, I'm sorry, I ain't offshore no more. Helipad. Uh we're about to go ahead and blow this parking lot off. Get it cleaned up. We call it in a day. And uh, we're going to pick this video back up tomorrow. So, see y'all then. Good morning. We back. So, back at this property, unfortunately... early this morning some of the weather that was supposed to miss this area it didn't miss <laughs> so it flooded here this morning early early this morning uh, already spoke to the customer we'll be back there's some things that we weren't able to finish but like I said before they know it's going to take two or three cuts to get this big property in line so, that being said, you can see over here on the side of the parking lot, right past that tree, there's a drain right there, and it goes beyond that tree. It's back there, and it drains under the property to the other side. It's literally running water. So, we are done here for now. That's just all we can do. We're gonna have to skip the rest, take care of it later. But, we do have some other things we're gonna go check out nearby at one of our other military properties and see what we can get done. So, to be continued. All right, so, we're here at the headquarters. Uh, also wet, wet, wet. Very limited on what we can do, but we have an area that we have not been able to mow because on this side of the building, they're adding on to the building. So they got a lot of construction and they've been using the whole side parking lot along with a lot of the lawn to store materials. Well, this has been going on for a little while. Uh, big boss decided, you know what? Some of the landscaping, some of the shrubs on this side of the property, it's all getting ripped out anyway. Make room to get in because we've been cut off. I could not get a mower in there because of fences, beds, and construction. There was no way to get in. So we're going to tear a couple of these hedges out they're gone anyway they're not in the best shape tear them out make an entryway and get a section of this mode that's getting really deep uh, we're going to pick up a few things here and there and then honestly I think that's going to be our day there's just there's not a whole lot we can do the rain came in hardcore last night and early this morning so we're going to mow down some of this deeper stuff. We're going to walk around and see what we can do and go from there. So let's do it.
little thing just caught me on the finger on the fingertip. He's mad. He's trying to bite me. But he already bit you once. Well, yeah, he already bit me once right there on the right there. Trying to bite me again. But he's harmless. <laughs> so, not all snakes are bad snakes. We're going to turn this one loose. Get him away from the front door. Hailing with the big mower. Getting it done. Got some entertainment in the background. Anyway, uh, we did a little cleaning up over here. It's it's very wet. Uh, wet enough that even the boss come found us. It was like, how are y'all even going to try to work? But we select cut some areas right in the front. The big thing is point of view. Uh, their main entrances. No, it wasn't out of control. It just areas needed to be nipped, you know, just kind of topped. Uh, the main stuff they see when coming in and out. So we just tightened several spots up, cleaned it up. And that's, that's honestly all we could do. Uh, it's just too much rain. So on that note, that's it for this one. So don't forget, you like what you see you want to see some more hit that like hit that subscribe and we'll see you next time